Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let us see and learn about one more important concept that is securely connecting to our S3 from our private server which is present in our VPC. So for this lab, what we gonna do? In this lab, I've already created one EC2 and some S3 buckets and this gateway we gonna create in this lab. And I want to show you one more thing that is in order to connect to your private server, you need a sessions manager connection. So that also I want to show you in this lab. So we're going to implement two things. The first thing is first we're going to connect to our private server by using, by creating a endpoint, by creating a endpoint, we're going to connect to this EC2 or you can say our server, private server. Then after that, we're gonna even create one more endpoint. For what? In order to connect to our S3 bucket from our private server. So what endpoint we're gonna create, sir? We're gonna create this S3 gateway related endpoint. So here, in order to connect as a user, in order to connect to my private server, what we're gonna create, sir? We're gonna create an SS. SSM sessions manager private endpoint to connect to server we create session manager interface endpoint and to connect to S3 from our VPC private server we create a S3 gateway endpoint so that's two things we're gonna do in this lab and securely we're gonna connect from our server to this S3 as well I'll show you that in this lab you can see I have logged in into my AWS management console. Now, first I want to show you my server. So that's why I'm opening my EC2 dashboard. Here, actually, we create our servers. Now, under instance tab, we have our servers that are created. You can see, yeah. So you can see two servers are there. So first one is a public, public server and this is the private server. If you can open and see, the private server if you can open and see the private server it's currently having the private ip address only it does not have any public ip address now i want to connect it to this private server so in order to connect to it just click on connect so if you open sessions manager by using sessions manager i'm expecting to connect so currently this option is in disabled state right yeah so currently this option is in disabled state now in order to activate this we need to create a endpoint connection so where we can able to create that endpoint connection sir after creating that endpoint connection i'll try to reconnect to it so we can create that endpoint connection from vpc you can see here vpc i am opening in this vpc you have option to create endpoints you can see here under virtual private cloud under VPC dashboard, under virtual private cloud, you have an option that is endpoints in order to create your own endpoints. Now, what I'm expecting in order to, I want to connect to my private server. So in order to connect to your private server, you use session manager connection. So that's why I'm clicking on create endpoint. Here you can create an endpoint. So currently the name tag is optional. So that's why I'm not specifying. And to what service I'm creating to EC2, right? So which type of connection I'm creating session manager connection that belongs to session manager belongs to AWS. So that's why I'm selecting the service category as AWS service. Now, since I'm creating session manager related connection, I'm searching for SSM. It will show me the available services. Since I'm creating session manager connection, that is a interface in order to connect to my EC2, I'm selecting this and we need to select the vpc where our instance is present so this instance actually present in this vpc you can see this lab lab vpc this instance is present so that's why i'm selecting that lab vpc and even you can observe that is present in this region only us is 1a in this private subnet that actually present in 
if you open your EC2 instance and you can check it in, uh, you can see this is the VPC and this is a private subnet. So that is visible here. So those configurations I have provided. Then I'm using the security group as this SSM security group. So you can open and see what rules are allowed and what rules are denied in it. I'm just opening this sessions manager related security group in order to show you what rules are allowed. I'm opening the inbound rules. You can see only HTTP type inbound rules are allowed. That means if you want to connect from browser, that's nothing but HTTPS request only, right? Yeah. So in order to connect to it, we need to allow it. So that's why I'm using this. Whereas outbound traffic, uh, all traffic is allowed. But for connectivity, only this HTTP traffic is allowed. Now I'm moving back. Yeah, these are the configurations I provided. So that's it. Currently I'm moving on with the full access. I just click on create to create the endpoint. Previously, I'm unable to connect to my EC2 instance. Now I provided the configurations that is uh, I creating a endpoint. There I provided my service category as AWS service and selected SSM. Then I selected where my EC2 instance is present, that particular VPC and subnet through what IP address I want to connect that also I provided and security group also I provided. Policy currently I provided full access and I'm clicking on create endpoint. So when I click on create endpoint, this endpoint will create right now. Currently it is in pending state within a few seconds to minutes this endpoint will create for you and this will reach us to the available state. So whenever that reaches to the available state, at that moment, you can able to use your server. That is your uh, private instance. You can able to connect by using that SSM, that is sessions manager connectivity. So let's wait for a moment. Now you can observe that is available. The status is available. The SSM interface that we created, that status is available. So through this connection, we can able to connect to our private instance, our private instance. Now I'm opening this and now I'm again clicking on connect. And now I selected the sessions manager. So let's wait. This will enable right now. I think uh, it might take a few seconds to enable since we provide the configurations just now, right? Yeah. So that's why we need to wait a few seconds so that it will be enabled. I'm just reloading the page until it got enabled. Configuration is that's it. Now till this session got created, let's do some more configurations like the session time increasing. That is the, the default session time you can able to set in systems manager. Now I'm opening the systems manager. There I gonna set. There I gonna show you how to set that particular time, how to increase the login time to your session. Now you can see here under sessions manager option is there. Inside your systems manager, you have this sessions manager option. So there you can actually able to set the time, login time. How much time you want to put your setup or you can say you want to put your instance login. So currently it is 20 minutes. I want to edit it and I want to make it to 60. So like that you can able to put based on your requirement and just click on save so that this configuration will be saved. Now I'm moving back to my instances. To connect to that uh, private uh, server. Now I'm clicking on connect. You can see this is now in enabled state. Now you can click on connect so that you can able to connect. 
so just wait if that option is not enabled so that's it your configuration is uh, everything is uh, good but uh, if that is not enabled then please just wait for a moment so that you can able to get that uh, option enabled and then through that you can able to connect to your instance so there i have connected right yeah so in order to connect so what is my aim i want to connect to my s3 bucket right so in order to connect to it so first you need to provide your configurations here so in order to provide configurations you can write aws config aws configure so that's it here the access key i want to move on with the current session access key id so that's why i'm clicking on enter and secret key also same and region i want to specify as a us is one and the output format is json i want so that's it i provide the configurations now i want to check whether i can able to connect to s3 or not so if i can able to connect then i can able to list whatever the buckets are present in it right yeah so just i'm clicking on it you can see after a few seconds also you won't get the response right now because currently i am not able to connect to my s3 so that's why i cannot get the response i'm clicking on control c now in order to connect to my s3 from this private server connectivity so first you need to create one more endpoint that is a gateway endpoint now you can see i just came back to my vpc dashboard here under endpoints i am creating one more endpoint for that s3 currently i am not providing any name that s3 is nothing but aws service category so that's why i am selecting aws and here i am providing s3 and you can see i am creating now gateway related type endpoint so that's why i selected this you can select this gateway type endpoint whenever you want to connect to your s3 from your aws cloud let's say you want to connect to your s3 from outside of your aws cloud through vpc gateway interface vpc interface then you select this currently since i'm connecting from my aws cloud environment through one of the private server so that's why i selected this gateway and here you need to provide the vpc related details in which vpc you want to create currently i'm creating that in the same vpc where my private server is so that's why i'm selecting the same vpc where my private server is inside my lab vpc my private server is present so that's why i selected this and i'm selecting the same private subnet where my private server is so that's it now i'm clicking on create endpoint if i click it so that it will create the now with these configurations i'm just clicking on a create endpoint so that this endpoint will create i'm moving on with the policy that is full access so regarding policy also i'll tell you in this lab itself now i'm just clicking on create so that this endpoint is creating now if you see the status if you see the status of it so currently this gateway endpoint status is what available that means now you can able to connect to that s3 bucket as well from this server so now i'm again retrying the same command aws s3 space ls you can see you got the response that means so through this gateway endpoint by creating this gateway endpoint in the same place where my private server is that is in the same vpc in the same subnet we create this gateway endpoint then we can able to access our s3 from there right yeah you are accessing that so you can even see the policy here so what is this policy option sir now i'm selected this s3 gateway endpoint by using this policy currently we are in the fine grain access policy by using this policy you can even restrict the access to specific content as well currently if you observe it is allowing all access now i want to edit it i want to show you by restricting specific policy by specific bucket i want to restrict accessing specific bucket related content so that's what i want to show you as well you can see i'm providing currently it is accessing all traffic 
and this specifies we are allowing to access the lab bucket. Now I'm opening the result that we got previously. This is the lab bucket. I'm just copying this. Let's see the content which is present on our lab bucket. You can see this is the lab bucket, right? Yeah. I'm just copying this lab bucket name. Yeah, I'm writing it again. I want to list the content which is present in this lab bucket. So that's why I'm copying this and S3 colon double slash here I'm pasting that. Yeah, so you can see we have some file inside it. Let's say I want to restrict or block the access to this bucket related content. So that you can able to modify inside this. This is nothing but your VPC endpoint related log, right? Yeah. So here I'm providing that bucket name. Here also I'm providing that bucket name. So that's it. Now I'm just uh, creating this. Let's say I want to provide access to that bucket lab bucket but i want to restrict the access to my logging bucket you have two buckets right so one is a lab bucket one is a logging bucket i want to restrict the access to this logging bucket and i want to provide the access to that lab bucket you can see i provided the access to that uh, lab bucket here you can see the effect is denying that means we are restricting the access to this bucket so here I'm providing that uh, logging bucket. So that logging bucket related content also, I'm just restricting the access. Now I'm just saving this rule. Now, if you try to access this, now you can see we, we cannot able to access the data which is present inside this. You can try it. You can try with this by providing that uh, logging bucket uh, name here. You can see I'm pasting that uh, logging bucket uh, name and clicking on enter. You can see we are denied to access that. Since we provided that permission inside our gate, gateway endpoint, we are unable to access that content. So in this way, by using the policies inside your endpoints, you can able to restrict the access as well to specific content. So in this lab, we fulfilled our task that is we created a interface endpoint that is SSM manager interface endpoint to connect to our private server. Then we even created one S3 gateway endpoint to connect to our S3 bucket. And we have even restricted access to our S3 bucket by using this gateway endpoint by changing the policy, which is already available to this gateway endpoint. So not only to this gateway endpoint, for every endpoint, the policy option is there. You can able to restrict. If you open the SSM manager that you created, for that also you can see the policy is there. So like that by using that policy, you can able to restrict, restrict access to specific content and you can access, you can provide access to specific content. So that's it all about this lab on how to securely connected to your private uh, ec2 instance and from there by using private uh, connection through the gateway endpoint how to connect to your s3 bucket so that also you have seen and you have even restricted the access to your s3 bucket related specific content by using the policy related to your gateway endpoint i hope you understood this video and hands on implementation of how you can implement this in real time so thanks for watching I hope this video is useful. If you like the video, then please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thanks for watching again. See you back in the next video. Until then, bye bye guys.